there will be video first. There is a sound. Should I press something? The sound is important. By artificial intelligence. Imagine in the symbiosis of human and machine intelligence. What would you do with it? We make it a reality. We are Syndicator. Syndicator is creating an open ecosystem where we combine the collective intelligence of financial analysts, data scientists, traders, and investors. This ecosystem provides a more efficient approach and valuable predictive analytics for asset management, where everyone can monetize individual intelligence. Invest your intelligence. Learn more at syndicator.com. My name is Yuri. I'm a co-founder of Syndicator, and I'm here to share the experience that we have received. We have just closed the token sale two days ago, and uh, I can say that this was pretty unique uh, structure of token sale and it was not the ICO. And uh, we have uh, received lots of words of appreciation from the market. Some say that we have set the benchmark for the market, how to organize the process. Thank you. Uh, so here I'm to bring some insights and uh, experience. Uh, you can ask me questions during the process. Uh, so. The most important thing that we are proud of that during this token sale we have uh, increased our team uh, by 250 times. Before the token sales, we had a really strong team of uh, uh, 16 uh, employees and uh, 15 advisors, and uh, now we have a really huge decentralized team all over the globe of strong leaders who are aligned with the idea of our project and uh, who is willing to contribute to the ecosystem that we create, to technology and uh, the market that we do. Uh, before saying about the, the, the process, I will say a couple of words about the technology and the project that we have. So we are combining the intelligence of Collective, collective intelligence of financial analysts and artificial intelligence. At this moment, we have about 20,000 of financial analysts who are making uh, different types of financial analysis in our system. And uh, on top of them, there is artificial intelligence that learns the accuracy of each of this human being and uh, dynamically change the weights of trust and looks for corrections to each of these participants. So at the end, we have a quite accurate uh, vision of the market and uh, the product that we create. There is a number of analytical products uh, with uh, investment ideas. So those are the parameters of uh, entrance points and exit points to different uh, assets, uh, both from traditional market and crypto market. Uh, we have worked with a number of uh, hedge funds and banks and the largest players on traditional market and uh, we moved from that B2B model uh, because our products have exclusive uh, capacity. It could be utilized by a uh, limited amount of uh, players and users. So we decided uh, that to be not the uh, central bank or BlackRock or JP Morgan we decided that to be the ecosystem, and we started creating the ecosystem. So the most important part is the community and the relationships with, uh, with people uh, that are involved. Uh, so we uh, called this process like white list token sale. Uh, one month with a half, we started to collect applications uh, on our websites uh, where we gathered all together names, uh, 
social network profiles. Uh, and uh, what is the most important, we ask to write a letter uh, of how they see the process of contribution to our ecosystem, how they are going to improve this ecosystem. Uh, so we gathered, here are some numbers, we gathered uh, 33,000 uh, of applications uh, that we manually checked uh, with our head brains, with our employees, and uh, each of us has read uh, what those people have written. We also written a script that analyzed their social profiles and uh, gathered the keywords from their walls. So we see the profile of each of the person and we see the intention that they have. So we restricted access to those who is motivated by uh, fast uh, earning of money just by selling the tokens. Uh, we restricted access of anonymous whales. And uh, we built this. Um, we have chosen only uh, those who have needed background and who has a, a strong intention to contribute. So we created a very decentralized ecosystem from all over the globe. Uh, and uh, in terms of money, we have uh, collected the application for 500 million of dollars. And uh, we gathered only 15. And we call it smart crypto. Like in traditional venture investments, they used to call it smart money. And uh, this is what we believe the tokens are for. So this is the connection between us and the ecosystem. Uh, there were kind of four uh, important and really complex processes. Each of them was kind of separated and always evolved. I'm not talking about marketing, because marketing campaign, we have switched off the marketing one month with a half before the token sale, because we understood that there is no need for marketing, actually, at that period. Uh, very complex question was how to form and design the ecosystem and the, what structure the token will have. So that was a long conversation with different legal consultancies and uh, regulations that uh, gave us legal notes and advices how to, uh, how to build the model for it not to be the security and to be only utility token. And uh, the role that uh, the token plays in, uh, in our ecosystem, it is an in incentive for those financial analysts. So they receive our tokens for the analytical work that they create uh, according to the accuracy of their uh, analytics. And also, this is the currency uh, that is used to get access to the, to the products that we create. So they are bringing the knowledge, and they are investing their intelligence, and they get, as a result, the products are created, and uh, these products are sold for these syndicator tokens, and they receive them. Uh, the white list, uh, it was really uh, 24 hours a day reading these profiles and learning these people. So I can say that we felt the connection with all these people, 33,000 people. And each of us has read it. It's really crazy feeling this. And they have written really strong words. And we decided to split it in four tiers. So we divided this group uh, into different tiers. Uh, so to make the process not being in rush, uh, make the, it smooth and protect it from the attacks. And uh, in terms of security, it was crazy because the amount of attention from hackers and ill-wishers was growing rapidly. And I can say the numbers that on the previous week, we had 10,000s of different attacks to all different parts of our ecosystem. And it was a kind of new experience that we learned during the, the process. 
So about the tiers. Uh, we have let uh, the highest uh, amount uh, in the first year was 100 thousands of dollars. So only for 14 strategic partners. Those are quite valuable people and companies in the world. Uh, the second tier, uh, the maximum cap was 17,000 only. Uh, and there were 247 participants. We also collected uh, passports and uh, proofs of address for the creation of banking account. So we are sure that the regulators are happy with this due diligence that we have produced and uh, with uh, the KYC and with IML procedures. It, it was not uh, made by the procedures like somebody told us to do, but we did it ourselves and everybody likes it. So we're not aware about legal concerns. Uh, tier three and tier four, the, uh, those were much larger amounts of people whom we let into our system. But uh, they were very small uh, checks. Those were 5,000 and 2,000 and a half. I can say that uh, during that process, there was one more important process that I didn't mention at presentation, and I forgot about it. It was community management. I think that this was uh, one of the craziest also, because we were talking with all those people who were eager to participate and very greedy to get the access. We tried to keep the, keep the positive and the positive conversation, and the, actually everybody was happy, and it was very hard. So everybody from our team, this is 16 employees, everybody was in chat uh, and ask, uh, answering questions just in a couple of minutes after the question appeared, and they were just non-stopping flow of questions. Yeah, so these are the uh, tech cloud of techs from the, uh, from the walls in the, their social accounts. So, so looking here, you can um, have the feeling who is in our ecosystem. Yeah, so these are the, my contacts. And this is the last slide of the presentation. The presentation was prepared yesterday, and just, uh, because the, say, the token sale finished just uh, when I arrived here. Uh, so, as uh, my goal here is to share the knowledge and experience, uh, we can use the two minutes and 50 seconds for questions and answers if somebody has questions. What is the thing that surprised you the most during the sale? What is what? What is the thing that surprised you the most during the process? Uh, well, it's, oh, it was very surreal and very, uh, very educative. Yeah, so we, have, we all have learned a lot. And uh, surprising was psychology, human psychology, I think. That we have, uh, actually me, I'm involved in questions of psychology for many years, but I have not seen this from these angles and so deep, like during this experience. Any questions? Yeah, one here. Just a quick question about fundamental principle. How do you deal with uh, the issue of self-fulfilling prophecies uh, of your top um, sort of predicting guys? So if there is top guy who is making cool predictions then sort of over the time his predictions actually are not predictions that they are influencing the market he's covering in future uh, that's what we have to deal in future but uh, during these two years so that we run this company for the third year and uh, that community of 20,000 of analysts uh, that it is the, the communities that we collected during the two years and there is about 2% of such people that you're saying, we call them super forecasters, 
those ones who uh, usually make very accurate uh, predictions. Uh, we try to work the, with them personally. We know them. Uh, we talk with them uh, personally. Uh, we give them prizes, so there is a, a number of different types of motivation for them to be involved. Uh, one of them is gamification, another is education, another is money. We give them monetary prizes. We, we gave them money before, now they will, do it, they will receive tokens. Also, we help them to get to work. Uh, we give official notes uh, that proves their expertise uh, in finance and they can get uh, good positions. Uh, but in terms of future, if, if they can uh, 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 not predict the future, but uh, determine the future. Uh, this is a kind of philosophical question, and uh, I believe and I hope that we will bring it to define the future for the better of the ecosystem. So they will decide what is good for the ecosystem and uh, determine the best. All right, that's all.